Hello, Bringing On The Musical. I'm Gregory Haney, and I play La Cienega, the fearless cheerleader from Jackson High School. Um, I have a few questions that were posted on Facebook, and I'm going to answer them right now. The first question is Brandon. Uh, his question is, uh, my question is, as a person who hasn't had the opportunity to pursue my musical outlet until this year, what steps should I take to be as fearless on stage as you are and really be successful in musical theater? So, um, I think the first thing I would say is to not be afraid. I mean, to be honest, it's really scary to put on a dress and walk out on stage and have thousands of people looking at you, especially if you are a boy from Arizona who used to play football. <laughs> um, and then also just knowing that, you know, education is best and it's the best way to go. Uh, knowing that you have to have a foundation. So when it, in regards to dancing, you need to have your ballet, you need to have your jazz, you need to have your modern musical theater. Um, you're singing, you have to have your, your operatic training, you have to have your, your jazz training, all of them. Um, and then uh, acting, you have to know your foundation so that you can become the best actor and entertainer possible. Um, thank you, Brandon, for your question. Uh, next is Tyler. Uh, could you give me an example of how a previous show helped you with Bring It On? Um, a previous show, I think, I always, I always joke around because I spent a large majority of my career being animals. I was on the National Tour of Cats for three years. I did Wicked, and I was Chistry. I did Tarzan, and I was an ape, and a leopard, and a fern. Um, so I think that... I think that playing animals has really helped me just not care what I look like and just be able to like just jump headfirst into it because honestly I think as actors we have a tendency to be very self-aware of what we're doing and so um, playing these animals year after year has really got me physically aware of what I'm doing with my body and mentally prepared to just, you know, if I look crazy, I look crazy. Helps. <laughs> um, next question is from Diego. When playing this role, did you think uh, did you think you sent out a message of anti-bullying? And you are my favorite. Thank you, Diego. Um, I think that I I don't send out a message of anti-bullying. I think I send out an awareness that being different is okay, and I think that being comfortable in your own shoes is okay, and that if people in your life don't agree with that, that it's okay because you're going to live your life to the fullest and be happy. I think that's the last thing it stands for, ultimately, is do your own thing and watch my outfit walk away. <laughs> um, so thank you, Diego. Next is Jill. Um, I would like to know what your favorite costume slash outfit is in the show or your favorite scene in the play. Um, well, Jill, I have two of them. One would be the top of Act 2. It's the flowered top with the big, thick yellow belt and my patented leather blue Doc Martens. That's my favorite, one of my favorites. And the other one is my maxi dress when Bridget reveals her hickey. Um, I just love it because it's so colorful and I feel like I'm at a beach and very exotic. Um, and my favorite scene of the show is, it's probably Ain't No Thing because it's the first time that you actually get to see myself, Nautica, and Bridget kind of step out from the back and our individuals and stand up for what we believe in and telling the audience and telling each other that, you know, it ain't no thing. Um, Sharon, uh, I was wondering if you, choose, if you chose a real life female to model your character after. Um, I did, I have, you know, I feel like in every every person's life, you have strong uh, woman figures, and so I have I have a lot to choose from. But um, I have uh, two friends. Uh, one, her name is PJ, and uh, the other is Holly, and also my mother. So I have three all wrapped into one. Um, but they all have individual individual little pieces of La Cienega in them. PJ is the all around loving character that just wants to hug everybody and. You know, just breathe through it. You'll be all right. And then Holly is the techno mess girl from from DC. That's just like matter of fact. She's like, "What's up?" And my mom is just the the confident woman that's just like, "Yeah, I'm here." That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
them. So I think that with their powers combined, kind of like Captain Planet, um, you get La Cienega. Um Next question. We have Amy. How did you manage to lose yourself so fully with the character? Also, do you have some appreciation for what women have to go through to be beautiful? And I love that she's beautiful in quotations. Um, because beautiful is whatever you want it to be. Um, I, I think that I think that because Last Thing is so fun, and I think that because Andy Blankenbuehler and all the creatives of the show really knew how to create this world unlike anybody else, anywhere else I should say, that it's really easy to get lost. Like sometimes, actually a couple weeks ago, my parents, uh, my mom and my brother came out to uh, the show and I completely forgot that they were in the audience because come act two, when we're sitting at the lunch table, like I really feel like we're sitting at the lunch table. Just having fun and going, just going with our lives. Um, and I think that once, once that's achieved, then it, I think it's perceived as us just enjoying everything about the show and enjoying what we're doing on stage through the audience. And I love that, and I love being a part of this. Um, so thank you, Amy. And, oh, and the beautiful thing. It's hard being a girl. It's so hard. Like, I, like, putting on makeup, I had 15 minutes to put on makeup. Now, I understand that you guys have more time to get ready when you go out, but 15 minutes is a whole, is a short time. It's difficult. And then all the spandex. Jeez. Can you just wear pants sometimes? Sweats? Maybe. Okay, so uh, last, last question is from Derek. Um, how do you feel about originally in such a role? Last thing that it must feel like the modern day angel of our, dec of our decade. Um, Derek, I think that is amazing, and thank you so much for comparing me to Angel. I think Angel from Rent is an amazing part, and I think that it really did pave the way for its time for, um, future musical theater kids who are going to come along and see that show. It's just, it's open, it opened my eyes. It was one of the first shows I knew about. So the fact that you are comparing me to that makes me feel really wonderful. I think that La Cienega is on her way to becoming the angel of, of our decade. Um, I think that she and the show has so much more to do and I can't wait for the whole world to see us and for you to have fun with us and to, you know, come to Jackson High School. So that's it for the questions for right now. Um, thank you so much for everything. You guys are amazing. The show's amazing. Come and see it. You're going to leave happy, sad. Your belly's gonna hurt from laughing so hard. And you know, you'll take away from you'll take away from the show doing your own thing. Thanks.